Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. We left off last episode with me invading Greece, and uh, you're, you're warless right now, aren't you? Uh, right now. Well, I'm part of the Greece war, yes, but I'm but preparing not... invasion of Denmark. Yeah, you're not prosecuting a war right now. You're contemplating them. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Uh, I think I'm good to go. To get back into this. Indeed. Okay, so I've pocketed, like, the entire Greek. Uh, I see... Wait, wait, wait. We have lost the effects of tiny icy minor boost. Uh, icy yeah, it's, uh, minor boost. It gives you those bonuses yeah. at the start of the game, but... Yeah, we're too big now. Off. Yeah. All right. So we'll just increase the size of the pocket. There we go. Or the uh, the wiggle room on the pocket, at least. And we'll keep pushing Greece south. Okay, Excellent. so I'll attach that over there. Okay, April 24th. Now I can cross one of the regiments off from here. Zayt made a master list of all the crap he needs to build off screen. Yep. There's a lot of uh, things in there. Some of the things that I can't build yet because uh, I won't be able to have 11 brigades in a division yet. Yeah. But that, I need to actually put in the assault concentration on the research queue. Yep, yep. Gotta get that sweet, sweet, uh, what's it called? The combined arms? Combined arms bonus. Well, yeah, that. But it's the superior firepower that is the tech that actually gives the extra regiment. Hmm. Oh, brigade. Man, my cavalry is actually doing not half bad. I mean, yeah, cavalry, when they have some decent support units, they are... they're fast, they don't use fuel, and so they're not as susceptible for supply issues. Mm hmm All right, so my next, uh, once I'm done with Greece, the plan is to attack Austria, who's allied to Hungary, and take those two out. And yeah. Hungary's not going to have too much for me, but Austria is going to have uh, some nice concentration of um, uh, cities for their delicious factories. Oh, and someone <laughs> in the comment section asked, I see is industrial capacity. It's what you use for building things. Yeah. Oh, I actually have some free capacity in military as well. Let's have a look at the list. Why is this division smaller? I do not know. Ah, I'm being influenced by the Soviets. Hell, <laughs> you just wait, Stalin. I'm, <laughs> I'm being influenced by all of them. No, well, you, you, they. Oh, well, Czechoslovakia wants transit rights. No, no, because soon Czechoslovakia is going to be my Slovakia. And I'm gonna I'm gonna need to build an infantry division to go with these these mercenaries I built or bought. Oh, I don't have mercenaries myself. Well, the elite light infantry is, is really really good. You get a lot of it if you play uh, Japan, and it's super uh. effective. Well, I mean, super effective is Japan because there's so much rough terrain you have to fight through. Oh yeah. Now where did I put my? Okay, the transports are over there. I could technically... Ooh. Hold on, so I'm... Divisions going there. I got divisions coming this way. I got divisions over there. Okay. Oh, right, and I need to... Ooh, I almost okay. got another infantry Not division. There. Those are expensive to build. Yeah, I mean, I'm building them brigade by brigade, so it takes less ICs, yeah. so they can actually finish them quicker. Yeah, it is It is technically the... more effective to do it that way. I'm yeah, too... But it's a in, lot in this work. instance right now, I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, the mountain divisions are a little low. They could be. They could use some reinforcements, too. Yeah, I think the mountain divisions start with two mountaineer yeah. regiments. Oh, ooh. I just stole something from the Yermans. Retractable Ooh. undercarriage. Oh, oh, so that's um, that's, that's for planes. Very useful. That's a good one. Yeah. 
it exactly increases really speed that. and reduces fuel consumption on, on everything. Yep. Oh, yeah, finally, learning to steal things that are worthwhile from the Germans. <laughs> and Luckily, yes. the fuel consumptions are not huge on the planes. I mean, there's still something. But... Well, I mean, like, uh, fuel consumption is, is something to, to, to really care about when you're, when you're balls deep in the Soviet Union. Oh, yeah. Uh, excellent. Brand new infantry division. Welcome to the front! Because there's definitely been uh, a, a lot of instances where I have not been able to get fuel to my to my air bases playing as Germany. Yeah. Because I believe supplies probably take the priority in the supplies uh, logistics. Yeah. There's At least um. Degree. I've definitely had instances where I I was like, okay, so I can't get supplies to these guys all the way to the front, so I'll drop them from these air bases, and then I go to the air base and like, oh right, the air base is directly on the exact same like supply line, um, and you, uh. so 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 it's further back, but it still doesn't get enough fuel to fly the planes to drop the supplies to the guys that don't have supplies. <laughs> That's what. It, whenever I play um, play as Germany, I always focus on. Uh, I do the focus that gives you a reduction in supplies, uh, in uh, fuel consumption, and extended range. Because there's oh, a, yeah. there's a lot of air bases in the Soviet Union, but not a lot of big air bases. Not a lot of good ones. Yeah. I'm not gonna move them quite yet. Okay, okay, I want yeah. troops to actually just send these two over there. Gade, Mountain. I'm gonna make three regiments of... Oh, that's militia. Fuck me. <laughs> mountain Infantry Brigade. Make three of those. Put them on the list. Ooh. I stole blueprints from the Germans. I can build transports now. Ooh. Nice. Excellent. That's the planes, by the way. Right, ah, yeah, I assumed. I mean, there are some uh, transport ships, and that usually confused me. It's 1937. If you didn't know how boats would work, you're the worst Scandinavian ever. <laughs> I mean, I know how some of them work. I just don't have uh, ships that can carry troops, other than the auxiliary ships that I got from the yeah. event. Cur curious. Do Finns... I, I know, like... Other Scandinavian countries don't exactly like like they're they're dubious about counting Finns as Scandinavian. Do Finns count themselves as Scandinavian? Um, not really. I mean, Finns are Nordic, but Finland is not part of Scandinavia in a yeah, way. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, Finland is uh, wannabe Scandinavian, but it's not really <laughs> actually. Wannabe. <laughs> Wanna Scandinavia? All right, time to reduce the German, the German, the uh, Greek. High command there. I caught most of their high command surrounded. It's great. Ah. Uh, yeah, right. I think I'm ready to start my war against Denmark now. Woo! Now, I'm actually... Oh, well. Probably gonna go fine. Poor Greek bastards. Oh, and the, their first combat phase is chaos. Oh, God. The poor bastards. <laughs> All right, Elana has been turned off. Yeah, for some reason, it's one of those old um, Hearts of Iron three isms. When you load up the game, you have to turn automated trade back on and the uh, the outliner back on. Yeah, I didn't actually turn the trade on right now because, uh, well, a lot of uh, my convoys are already going out, and I need some money as well. Oh yeah. I mean, I can withstand losing a little bit of energy. There we Ooh. go, we've done the landing. Add war goal. Acquire territory. Okay, Athens should be mine. I'm trying to grab the areas that I know have cities in them. <laughs> yes, this is the, the Greeks were un unprepared for this. They, well, I feel I... like they should have been prepared considering what was happening to the north of them. <laughs> Yeah. Romania's growing larger. Actually, 
I don't think there's a huge army in Copenhagen, so I might be able to do a landing there. Ooh. Oh yeah, I see. I see like ar some artillery and somebody else. There's a little bit infantry in there, but there's like one infantry division and some uh, uh, infantry battalion with the artillery. Ah, uh, yes. We are making our way through the mountains. Where's simplified terrain map mode? There we go. Excellent. Salonica is about to fall. Not that it's uh it's a VP, right? Hang on. Yep. Yes, it is. Get, 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 oh, getting myself flashbacks to my freaking CK2 game I've got going right now where I'm playing as Greece, basically. <laughs> oh, I just finished something. I see is being wasted on reinforcements. And let's see. Engineer Brigade activation. Okay, good. Ah, oh, nice. Now let's get more troops in there. Now that we got these troops, uh, you're not very big, so I'm not going to attack with you. But we'll see how well we can do. Great officer perch. Okay then. Prototype planes, please and thank you. Probably going to need those at some point. Oh yeah. Still can't pull anything else than well the transport that I just stole from the Germans, but yeah, I'll get there eventually. We'll steal more stuff. <laughs> that as well. Bomb okay, safe. So I think it's not actually all that bad here. I got one division coming north, but it's probably getting bombarded by our close air support right now. Yep. And the support elements will be quite dead. Oh, and Stalin's doing the purges again. Oh wow, uh, Salonika's almost fallen already. Yeah. And there it goes, 20,000, well, no, uh, oh god. Oh, you poor Greek bastards. <laughs> Killed 20,000 of them, lost 500 of my own. Ooh. <laughs> Those are some numbers right there. They're actually trying to launch counterattacks too now. Oh god, don't. Just surrender already. <laughs> Stop making me hurt you. Okay, once these troops get over here, we can... Ah, oh, one of these can actually start moving again. I mean, I both love and hate the attack delay. Oh, that, uh, well, it, it adds a, a pretty deep level of strategy compared to Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, yeah. Hearts of Iron 4, you just attack and attack and attack and attack and attack. You don't have to worry about, like, the reorganization of your units. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad mechanic, I'm just saying it can be sometimes very frustrating. I'm just, I'm, for, for me, it, it, it's like, no, never mind, just because I'm used to always having units in reserve just in case. True. So it doesn't, it doesn't bug me too much, because I'm just, I'm, I'm used to playing with it. I've played so much Hearts of Iron 3. <laughs> Alright, so these are the, the badass divisions. I don't think they've been attached. I think what I'll do is I'll make you guys your own army core. Alright, I don't need that much in consumer goods anymore. Attach this sense. to the 2nd Army. And just march you guys south, I guess. Industry advances. Excellent. Okay. Oh, I do not want the old guard guys. There we go. Excellent. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, landing's been successful. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was no one defending it, so... Oh, okay. Do you ever end up making any uh, special divisions like Marines or Airborne? Uh, sometimes. I mean, depends who I'm playing as. I always like to have, like, a Marine Corps available, if need be. 
Yeah, well, it can be very useful. It's just uh, when I'm playing uh, minor nations like Finland, then usually I just focus on Arctic divisions and infantry. Yeah, you gotta build those skis. Indeed. So August 24th, I'll get those mountain brigades up. Make those guys a little bit more combat effective. Okay, let's cut them out over there. Hmm, I lost some, I see. Oh, we need to go over there. Oh, uh, yeah, you probably lost because the short-term investment runs out oh. of me. That could have been it. Yeah, it's probably just a modifier fell off or something. Now let's just put my interceptors on intercept, just in case. Oh, took us lucky. I want to trade. Mm, I don't really need more fuel right now. I'm not using it all that much. Rebase the tactical bombers. Anti tank battalion. <sighs> There's a hair on my mouse. It's like, why oh can't my. my can, why can't I make my mouse go where I want it? My cursor is not working. There's a hair on it. Uh, let's see. Back in my day, we had we had balls at our mice. And they got Maybe. gunked up with goop, and we liked it. Let's see. Uh, daytime attacks on defensive. Just in that region. Go. Well, I'd say that the landing on Copenhagen is actually doing all right. Currently at uh, 85%. Barely anything defending it. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of infantry and the artillery. Poor Denmark. They're having a bit of a chaos in there. They were worried about Germany. Then the Finns came. <laughs> All right, let's see, how's the, the command structure? Still looks pretty good. Oh, crazy sinking my cotton was. God damn it. They need to kill them faster. They're not, they're not sinking mine, but they're sinking yours. Yep. Ooh, my bombers are out. Oh, where'd they go? There they are. You guys have Camera any experience? Yeah, they do. Okay, now I think I've done most of the bombing in the mainland, so we can just start bombing Copenhagen. Destroy the units in there, and then we can just uh, walk down the streets. Oh, I might accidentally be creating another pocket of most of Greece's military. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that. Nah. <laughs> Poor bastards. I mean, the front the front's so confined right now, I'm not even using... Mo I'm, I'm only using maybe a third of my military. Ah. Because there's, there's just a very narrow front now. Actually, you know what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, redeploy a lot of these guys um, elsewhere. Because I don't need them where they are now. Well, I just encircle a lot of Danish units. As well, is tradition. I wouldn't say a lot, but there's one division there and a lot of HQs. Yeah, I mean, one division for the Danish military has got to be a lot for them. Yeah. Oh, they might, they might actually get some of these units out. Let's see, when am I going to arrive? Oh, shit. Ah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll encircle some. Um, unless there's a crossing, a second crossing into the Peloponnese, which I don't know if there is or not. Soviet blueprints stolen for amphibious armor. Okay. okay. So, just in case I want some aquatic tanks. I mean, yeah, you can get to Patra. Well, crossing. All right, so if I ever decide to build mer some marines, I'll have access to aquatic tanks.
I like that the, the stuff that is stolen is completely random. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I really want them to, to uh, steal some designs for new weapons, but... Uh... Okay, I don't think I need these divisions here, so I'll just send them to Stockholm to be landed into Estonia. Ah, road network. Like I, what, what I really need is uh, plans for new rifles, and I came back with plans for heavier armor for battleships. <laughs> like, okay, friend. Not gonna be using that. Alright, so my, my, um, battle commander divisions are on the front now. They've never been used, but hopefully they'll get some, uh, some combat action in soon. Ah. Uh. They have, so they have a really good attack value compared to my other units. They're more than double. Oh. Yeah, so they they have an attack value of nine, where a normal one, one of my division has an attack value of four. Well, I can tell you that much that Denmark is about to fall. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. That didn't last. <laughs> nope. Did you just was it? Did you have to take anything other than Copenhagen or just Copenhagen? Uh, I did take it. Odense. Oh, okay. Basically, I had to take all their victory points, but that's fine. Yes, there is definitely another crossing down to Patra there. Well, maybe I can uh, sneak in behind with these battle commanders and uh, encircle these divisions here. Maybe. We shall see. Could be. Ah, uh, they're launching a spoiling attack, though. Eh, well, they're dying really fast. <laughs> right. We don't need to fight us over there anymore. We can transfer them to Helsinki as well. Because next on the line is uh, Estonia. Okay, let's see. So you just gotta go down the Baltic states? Yep. It's like a reverse Germany. <laughs> well, kind of, yeah. Whenever I play as Germany, I go Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Yeah. Driving Estonia is great. It has a good tactical position when you're attacking the Soviet Union. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so these infantry regiments are actually a brand new division, or start of one at least. Uh, Greece, don't, don't make me hurt you. Ooh, aero engine advances. <laughs> advances. Nice. And single engine aircraft armament. Oh, guns. Nice. Oh, well, I think a lot of the aircraft stuff is about to pop off right now. Cool. There we go. Ooh, allows research of advanced prototypes. Yes. Not too bad. Close All air right, support, right. multi-role fighter. I think I'm going to skip on CAG designs because I don't ha plan on having carriers. <laughs> Seems, it seems unnecessary. Yeah. yeah There's gonna be the seventh division. And that's an old save. Greece, just give up. Okay, Ooh, so yeah, there we go. There. Acquire territory on Greece. That seems like a good one. Okay, they're spoiling attack. Every time something? you add a war goal, you produce more threat. I'm not sure about that. It might be. Um. Well, let's see. I would imagine. Let, let's see. Let's go to diplomacy. Highest threat is against Romania. Well, I am attacking you. Well, what if we went to, like, Germany? Highest threat is Finland. Yeah, oh. I'm bordering them, but my threat is not huge. Thre highest threat from the Soviet Union is me at 34.5. Yeah. Interesting. That is, that is delightful. <laughs> oh, hey. I actually got money, so technically I might get the veteran unit opportunity some, at some point. Good.
Right, bunch of a uh, bunch of the units that aren't being used right now have been redeployed to the Austrian border. Again, don't worry, it is just um, uh, just military exercises. Light infantry brigade activation. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, I love me some light infantry. I always make um, I usually make a full core of light infantry if I can. Ah. And then um. I use, and then I can uh, I use them as a, like a reserve unit where I can throw into areas of rough terrain where my normal units are having trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean they're pretty good at uh, attacking like in forests and all that. I was looking Forest, at these guys swamps. They're really good in cities. However, we are out of time for this episode. Indeed, we are. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We do appreciate it. Uh, links to the other perspective can be found in the description below, and we will see you all next time. Bye.